This week on Studio 209, we're at the Gustine Pentecost Society Festa, an age-old tradition in the 209 that welcomes residents from here and beyond. What exactly does this event mean to the community and what's your favorite part about it? Well, it means that sense of everybody coming together to support who they are as a culture, as a religion. Um, I mean, if you know, they're, most of the people are from Azores, from all different islands. They're bringing their culture here to the United States. And this is regional, so you have a lot of Pentecost societies coming out here to also support the event. And so it's good to get back to some sense of normalcy, and I'm just excited about it. What is a festa? A festa is about coming and marching and showing your tradition. We're a big Portuguese family and this has always been a tradition. It's tradition. Yeah, everyone's here, right? It's just a lot of fun to do and it's good to keep the tradition alive. How often do you guys travel to different festas throughout the year? It's supposed to be every weekend, wherever a festa is happening. So um, yeah, every weekend, usually in the summer, we're out here marching. It's fun and you get to see everybody in their pretty dresses and everybody coming together as a community. It's an honor to be here and have the opportunity to do this and have my family involved. My father's been involved for many years here, so it's an honor to me. It's about an 11 minute walk from the GPS hall to the shrine of Our Lady of Miracles Church where the parade has now arrived for mass. Now the Festa is a three day event and of course we weren't able to catch all of the fun stuff from this weekend on camera, but if you couldn't make it out to Gustine this weekend, Festas are gonna be held all throughout the 209 this summer. So find one closest to you and come out and take in the culture. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Studio 209. Thanks for tagging along to the Gustine Pentecost Society's Festa. It's always fun learning about different cultures and that's probably one of my favorite parts of the job. Now let's take a look at a word from our sponsor, the City of Ceres Public Works Department. A new three-cart system will be introduced to Ceres residential garbage customers starting January 1st. One blue cart for recycling, one green cart for organics, and one black cart for household garbage. The new green organics cart is for grass clippings, yard waste, food waste, and food soil paper. To learn more about the new cart system, like which items belong in which cart, visit the City of Ceres website or call the Public Works Department. All right, friends, you know the drill. If you like this episode, you want to check out more, head over to Studio209.tv and subscribe to our dedicated YouTube channel. Also, be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at 209 Magazine. So for all of us here at Studio 209, I'm Angelina Martin, and I'll definitely see you next week.